Welcome back Mares, this is Blocks, and today, hopefully, we're going to check out the Lunar New Year Parks. So as the game finishes loading in here, I am expecting to see the Lunar New Year Parks today, so fingers crossed. We are currently in the Rio Carnival stuff, oh there we go, yeah, there's definitely something there. That looks really cool, I like the little pagoda style thing, so we've got a message. Let's check that out. Yeah, celebrate the Lunar New Year in your city. Now, for a limited time, unlock collectible Lunar New Year buildings like the Dragon Park, a Monkey Statue, and more. Customise your city with festive parks that boost population growth. Tap the new icon on the left to get started. Well, we'll tap show me because that'll take us straight to the park's menu. Um, and fingers crossed it'll load. Oh, wow, cool. Let's have a look. We've got quite a few here. Oh, so we've got a... Dumpling Market. Looks like it's another App Store exclusive there. And that'll pair quite well with the... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Stop. God, my phone's really lagging quite badly today. I don't know what's going on with that, but let's tap back in. Pull up the parks again. Yeah, it's so a Dumpling Market there. Looks kind of similar to the model for the Carnival Parade a little bit. Wow, there's tons for this one. Look at all these. There's loads of them. Of course, we've got App Store exclusive here, Dumpling Market. We've got another one, Giant Lantern. So lanterns are definitely a theme. And we've got tons of other parks as well. So Snack Market, that'll work quite well with the Dumpling Market, I think. The Welcoming Gate, that's what we saw in the image, the um, the teaser image. I did a video on that yesterday. We've got Red Lantern Walkway. Lots of red around. And a Golden Monkey statue, yes, awesome. That's really cool. Ah, uh, and then a dragon park. Ah. So yeah, I was kind of guessing yesterday in my video, like, would we have sort of monkeys and dragons together? And what kind of stuff would we see in the different parks? So it looks like the teaser image is basically a combination of those three parks there. The lantern, the monkey statue, and the dragon. Or maybe this kind of red lantern walkway here, because that's got kind of lanterns on it as well. So there is definitely a theme running through it. You can see some lanterns on on the giant lan lantern one, the red lantern, and the and the snack market. So let's look at the numbers quickly. So this one's 12,000 simoleons. The dumpling market, 12,000 again. The welcoming gate, five golden keys. Red lantern, seven. Giant lantern, 12. Monkey statue, 15. And the dragon park, 450 sim cash. Yikes. Okay, well, what, we can't build all of these at the moment so what I will do is go ahead and uh, I like the idea of the, the golden monkey statue so we'll just build this sort of down here out of the way uh, you can see my city is still in a little bit of a mess I was hoping to do I talked about this before the the live stream I talked about over kind of Christmas and New Year um, my plan was to try and reorganize my city because it's got a bit messy uh, sort of answer questions from you and then share some tips and tricks and stuff so we get a 10 by 10 area, 40% boost, 15 golden keys. Let's plop that down there and take a look at it. Um, and then do some come kind of give, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and also do uh, some kind of giveaways to kind of help you in your own cities. Uh, I've arranged all of that stuff. That golden monkey looks really cool. I like that. Yeah, that's nice. And it's a two by two space. So you could easily build it sort of a standard city block around it and then have like lots of them in a row to get like a little themed area in the city that's kind of nice um but yeah the live stream i i did some testing on my pc uh, and it just really can't handle it at all um unfortunately it's the best i average was sort of 10 to 15 frames per second around uh, 480p which i don't think is good enough quality um and as i plan to kind of spend more time on my channel anyway over this uh, coming year uh, it's i decided it's kind of time to invest in a new computer because the one I've got is really really struggling uh, like rendering a, even a single video can take anywhere between one and four hours if it's a longer video it can take up to six hours it's it's pretty crazy the the processor um, was from about 2007 basically the PC is about uh, 10 years old uh, the hard drives and memory some bits are even older than than 10 years oh hang on a second I don't think I want to upgrade that what is that one? Oh no that's one in there no I don't want to do that let's do a different building uh, and I've got a couple of redesign ideas. Um, I'm trying to collect lots of these little houses with vineyards in the front because I want to put them near the mountain area, which will be down here and have some sort of mountainside cottages and stuff like we've got 
down this end and then sort of feed into the city slowly so you've kind of got um almost well not suburbs but sort of small houses and then these little vineyards i think would look really really cool and almost sort of foothills along along the city sort of sort of down here but yeah that's going to take time uh yeah so the pc basically needs an upgrade um so the hard drives and memory are are definitely older than 10 years old um the the graphics card until oh i think it was early last year like march april may ish um i was using an old geforce 3 ti 500 with wait for it 256 megabytes of onboard memory and that was from like what 2001 um so yeah my plan is to try and produce more content over the coming year and then the pc will need to be upgraded to do that so i've put aside some christmas money i've put some savings into it and all that kind of stuff so if you're a regular viewer or subscriber then you know let me know what you think about that um me sort of doing more content and more regular con con bleh, content and stuff like that um i'd love to kind of hear what your thoughts are um let's go ahead and do this epic project i spent a little bit of time yesterday i had some time off work uh, so while I was kind of out and about, spent a bit of time building or trying to invest stuff in doing this. And it's the second one I've attempted. Um, so I haven't got to this stage before. I just didn't have time even to do the bronze thing. It's really, really difficult. When they say epic, it is indeed an epic project to undertake. So you have to be careful. And I will do a tips and tricks video on this stuff at some point. Let's go ahead and tap it, see what happens. Okay, so we made 39 out of the things. I think the the yeah the silver was 80 and then gold can i tap no i can't tap on gold i think gold's 160 if i remember rightly so i want to do, do a gambling epic project let's go ahead and upgrade it and see what happens tap on upgrade okay uh yeah that's kind of cool tap the token we get speed up tokens so we got five of those now or four of those now yeah, that's that's kind of interesting. It's not quite in fitting with the the stuff I want. It looks more like there's a residential building with this sort of wave on the top, like that sort of wiggly wiggly top bit. Let's see if we can find one of those that it would look kind of cool next to. Let's see if I can find one. You'll see what I'm talking about. You probably know. Yeah, I think it's this one, isn't it? That one there in the middle, or like one of these. It would kind of look good next to because the architectural style is quite similar. I'm not sure this this one fits particularly well with with the stuff I've got in the gambling thing but maybe kind of around the sides here sort of my sort of gambling strip in the desert I could have epic projects over time and see how they how they go but I don't want them to overshadow this because now it just dwarfs what's supposed to be these massive you know luxurious um, casino towers here and then you've got this massive residential building that just kind of overshadows it all I wonder if it's got a name Tower of Treasure and oh yeah, it's got fire problems because I moved it. So let's pop that back down this way. Uh, I think it was here for now. And then let's go take a look at the city storage because I've upgraded that since the update as well. So it was at 350 and I had enough save to, I think, almost get to 370. And I've done really, really well. Uh, so I'm already at 380. Um, so, and I think... If you're trying to upgrade your city storage at the moment, I found like a lot more success in the last week or so than I've had for a long time just kind of getting items. And I don't know whether that's because there are more people playing or so there's like more items on the, on the um, Global Trade HQ or or what. But yeah, there's there's definitely, it's definitely easier for me, certainly has been easier for me to like buy stuff I want, which is which is cool. Let's take one more look at the Golden Monkey statue, was it? Golden Monkey statue, Golden Monkey Park? Monkey statue. I call it Monkey statue. It's definitely golden, though. I mean, look at it. I was, I was right about that. Yeah, look at it. Really cool. And it's got this little sort of egg it's holding as well, which apparently symbolizes, yeah, like gold or money or wealth, stuff like that. Let's take one last look at the parks. I will cover all of these individually in some Should You Build It episodes soon, so I will go through all of these different parks Oops. God, my phone's really difficult to, to tap and not drag into the into the actual kind of city area these days. It's uh, it's quite difficult. So we've got the snack market. And I will I will do all of these in a should you build it um episode well episodes soon. So you'll get to see all the kind of details, how they look with each other, all that kind of stuff. You know, try before you buy, check out all the details and that kind of thing. And I think I've done um, what have I done? I've done a couple of these 
um, recorded a couple of the, uh, I forgot the name of them, the Rio Carnival ones. There we go, the Rio Carnival ones already. I just need to render and edit and what's well, so no, edit then render and upload and all that kind of stuff so that'll take a little while but it shouldn't be too long and you'll see those on my channel as well um i think that's going to be it for today uh, it's a uh, it's a little bit of a mishmash episode and i've got a bit of a more of a, a plan hopefully for uh, the next kind of let's play episode we might start actually doing some of the redesign on my city because it has it's got to the stage where i kind of left it because i was knowing i was going to do or well, the plan was to do a live stream, like I said, and it's kind of got a little bit out of control now. I want it to be tidier. I want to have the nice little areas that I've sort of got, I've got plans for with the gambling strip we've got here, the sort of little market area. I'm going to blend this into, I think, a, a Lunar New Year area because you've kind of got the the snack market, dumpling market. They'll look good with the other markets and they've got the red roofs, so they really tie it, tie in nicely. But yeah, the city's just kind of got a bit bit messy and out of control. Um, yeah, cool. All right, then. Well, that's going to do it for today, Mayors. Um, check out the Lunar New Year content yourself if you haven't already. Uh, see what it's like. Grab yourself a couple of parks if you can. If you need to save golden keys, make sure you check out my video on that. I released um, last week, I think it was. I'll put a link to that as well. It's all about Vu's Tower and how you can make sure you maximize the amount of golden keys you get for each disaster. And I will see you soon, Mares. Take care, have a great day, wherever you are, and I'll see you. See you soon.